This is Omar Miller, and you're watching The Three Point Conversion. Game plan. I mean, we knew we had to tighten up in our, uh, on our defense the second half, so we all just wanted to come out and tighten up on defense. And, then, yeah, we definitely knew we had to bounce back from the uh, last game last night. So I think we did that and got the win. Thank you. Will? Mello, you uh, were able to have some offensive productivity without really your three-point shot working. At what point did you make the, the decision to just make everything happen? Uh, pretty much, I just played a game. Pretty much, try, I, my shot was a little off, so I knew I had to get to the rim and just was trying to do that. When your shot's not working like that, is that something where you just kind of got to shoot out of it, do extra work? What goes into to having to fix that? Just reps, keep shooting, I guess. Rick? LaMelo, um, how does your wrist feel during games? It looked like you were grabbing it and manipulating it a lot between plays. Yeah, a little, so I just like to keep it warm. That's pretty much it. Um, have they talked to you about all about anything you can do to, to – I mean, are you doing a lot of, of – of, um, maintenance stuff in the training room anything they do is it heat is it cold what do they do uh yeah that's pretty much with the little training staff and mostly just heat thank you jacob <clears throat> hey mellow uh tonight's the first time you got back on the court against rj hampton i know you guys will kind of always be linked together but what was it like to get to uh to play him again now in the nba yeah, no, it was definitely cool just knowing the path we took, knowing that this is the dream we were looking forward to, you know, playing on NBA court. And got to do that today. So, yeah, it was a blessing. Thank you. Yes, sir. Christos? Lamelo, what, uh, what sign of growth for your team was the way that you respond after a tough loss tonight? You said what type of uh, growth what? What type of growth of your team was the way that you respond after and the bounce back after a tough loss? last night and be back on the winning road tonight. Yeah, definitely had to bounce back. Like I said, I feel like growth, we took a little little step because, I mean, like I said, we knew we had to win this one tonight and that's what we did. So, you know, I'm proud of everybody. Thank you very much. Raphael. Hey, what's going on, Melo? Raphael from the Three Point Conversion. Melo, Terry has been that um, rock of the team, always been consistent, always played through injuries. What has he meant for you coming up as a rookie? Man, t is like my blood brother, for real. I mean, we always together. And I know it's my ride or die. He's going to be out there. I'm going to be out there for him. We both just trying to help this team and win, you know? And then just well, a quick follow-up. What is what have you uh, we'll it learned from yourself? Huh? What have you learned about yourself throughout this process, throughout your rookie year so far? Is anything have you learned about yourself as far as nah, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I've been knew myself for a long time now, so I pretty much just go on with my days, man. Richard? Richard Walker, CarolinaSportsHub.com. Lamelo, you, your team's magic number is one to make the play in tournament. Obviously, you want to do more than just be in the play in tournament, but what is that like for a rookie to know you're that close to being in the playoffs and, look, and looking ahead? What are the goals now that you're there? Yeah, like I said, just going into every game and just trying to win. That's pretty much my main goal. Take it day by day. Just do what we got to do.